you're starting out and you're going to get hit and you're trying to learn these new things and you're still in the truck doing the work, okay? And Possibly answering the phones. phones. And you're trying to put all this together and going, okay? It's not the love of plumbing. You've got to have the right why. you got to know why you're doing this so that when you do get hit and knocked to the canvas and you're down and it, it feels so good just to lay down because you're tired of getting hit, which equates to quitting, you'll, I'll just quit. I'll go right. back and get a job. Give up. Okay? Because it's not the love of plumbing that's going to get you back up. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 374th episode of Potty Talk, and we have a very powerful mm-hmm. episode for you. I've been excited, anxious to get to this topic. All right, let's hear it. Because we're talking about, what, the Million Dollar Plumbing Company secrets. Ooh, secrets. Now, Ooh, I, are you giving I, away secrets? I don't like how guys call things like the secrets, you know, that kind of stuff, <laughs> because it's like, ooh, it's all that. Mm-hmm. It's not very secretive, but these definitely are three pillars mm-hmm. that you must have in place if you want to build a successful very profitable and self-sustaining. I'm hitting that key word there. Okay. Self-sustaining mm-hmm. plumbing business. All right. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of like a, you know, if you got a three-legged stool, okay? Okay. All right. And success is sitting on top of the three-legged stool. Hold your butt. All right. It's mm-hmm. holding your butt. Okay. That's right. <laughs> sorry. You just said butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> but it's there holding your butt. Uh-huh. Okay. Your successful butt. Okay. <laughs> And but if just one of those legs is missing, mm-hmm. what's going to happen? <gasps> You're going to topple right over. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Same thing goes here. Okay. okay. Now it's not it's not a secret. Mm-hmm. It's not uh, you know it's not some kind of special sauce or something that you got this big education that you got to have or know these right. But you okay. must have these things in place. So all let's right. run through these let's things. Do it. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. All right. First of all, we're talking about leg number one. Leg number one is the right. People. Okay. Okay. You've mm-hmm. got to have the right people. Now, what do you mean by the right people? Okay. There's all kinds of people, right? There's lots of people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, your own people. Okay. You, you got employees. Employees. You got to mm-hmm. have the right people there. Okay. Really, what I'm talking about is the right people, as in customers. Ah. Okay. So it's so important with your so plumbing business, true. all yes. right, to have to be doing the work for the right customers. Well, they have a plumbing problem or they want me to do their <laughs> plumbing work. That doesn't mean they're the right customer. Right. For you. For you. Someone right. that you can win with. Right. And sadly, mm-hmm. most plumbing businesses are or start out. Start out, right. Working for the wrong <laughs> customer. We did. We did. We did. You know. Anybody that offered to pay anything for anything right. plumbing related. Right. We, we were mm-hmm. out there doing it. Exactly. And sometimes we got paid and sometimes we did so not. What, so what makes the right customer? Mm-hmm. What, what is the right customer? Okay. All right. Well, well first of all, we'll look at consider three things. Mm-hmm. All right. The right customer owns the plumbing okay so just keep this in mind we'll kind of walk through the different okay Okay. Mm -hmm. but the right customer a customer that you can win with Mm -hmm. okay and grow with scale with all right start from nothing Mm -hmm. and wind up having millions of dollars with okay okay Mm -hmm. the plumber okay the customer owns Mm -hmm. owns the plumbing okay so the owner of the house or they own the house right right. Mm -hmm. okay they own the plumbing okay all right Mm -hmm. next they directly benefit from your service Mm -hmm. okay Okay, so they own the plumbing and they mm-hmm. benefit from you installing the plumbing. Okay. They directly benefit. Got okay. It. All right. And then finally, the right plumbing customer, mm-hmm. right, values time. Okay. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, values their time. Their time. They their just time. want their day back. Just want their day back. Mm-hmm. And so for you to get out of their house. Exactly. Get the <laughs> heck out of here. Out of my I know house. they called you and we're all mm-hmm. excited to be there and we're the best and all that, but they just <laughs> And really, we love plumbing. We, we love, but they, they don't. Not so much. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. But still, the right customer has those three things. They own it. They benefit from it, mm-hmm. and they value their time. Okay. okay. So if we walk real quickly through the different types of you know plumbing, mm-hmm. you know what do, what do we have? We have new construction. Mm-hmm. We have commercial, commercial mm-hmm. warranty, um, um, remodels, remodels, mm-hmm. service. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those okay. Mm-hmm. Those kinds of so we look at those kinds of things as right. we walk through it. Which one of those customers? Um, you know, owns the, owns the plumbing. Sure, the service residential residential so if you look, service. If you think through it real quickly, yes. right? Because commercial does not. Because commercial, commercial no, more more than likely, it is someone that that's their job to take care of the commercial property, whether it be a retail store or whatever it is. You know, an office or whatever. Their job is to take care of the plumbing. So they really could care less. They they, yeah, they couldn't, couldn't, couldn't care less. Care, couldn't care less. Right. And then the same goes true with um, uh, new home. 
um, construction, new construction, new right. construction, right? Um, normally, it's well, not normally, almost always, it's a builder, right? A builder that's building a home for someone or for you know another company or whatever. Their main thing is the bottom dollar, right? Right, exactly. making sure it's the bottom dollar. Right. So yes. So that would be new construction. And, you know, we went through warranty, mm-hmm. same similar kind of same story. Thing with warranty, right? Because okay. more than because again, you're dealing with the warranty company, and they absolutely are are focused on bottom dollar. Right. So. They don't own the property. They, don't, they they couldn't care less. Right. But service, mm-hmm. they own the property. Yep. Same thing as we look at who benefits from it. Mm-hmm. Very quickly, you just kind of said you go mm-hmm. through them all. The new construction doesn't benefit from you doing the work. No. I mean, other yeah. than it gets done, but it they, gets they done. don't directly benefit. They don't want it. It's just, no. it's just the job. It's right. part of the job. Mm-hmm. Same with commercial. You know, you go that manager, the Walmart manager or whatever. Mm-hmm. They, you know, he doesn't care why. It's just, <laughs> just, right. just get it done just because it, right. there's water all over the place. Or exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then same, same with warranty. They don't, they don't benefit from it. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but service, the homeowner does. Mrs. Yes. Jones benefits from right. having hot water, from not having that sound, by not having the leak coming from the ceiling, she directly benefits. Exactly. From that. Okay. The, she benefits. She um, enjoys the sizzle. Yes. Of the steak, so to speak. Correct. Okay. She enjoys the bald. hot. She enjoys the hot water. Right. Not the water heater. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm I'm tracking with Very you. Very good. All oh, right. Yeah, I've been listening. Lovely Laura, you've been <laughs> all right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then finally, the value of time. Okay, now we all, yeah, new construction, they may be pushing you to do it or whatever, but it's not their time. It's not it's their not, time. Not that they want their day back. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, most, they're, most of sure, and actually they don't care about your time because right. what they'll do, especially with new construction, right? You go right. in and you do the, the first rough or whatever, and then another, you know, electric or whoever comes in after, and then you've got to go back, but then the cabinet guy didn't do this or that, so they send you home until the cabinet guy gets done. And blah. Right. They don't care about your time. Right. They could care less. Right. So. Exactly. They're, mm-hmm. they're not in about time at all. Commercials the same way. Mm-hmm. It's not, they, you know, they don't want, their, they, they just want to, you know, I, I had to call you because I, my boss told me I got to call you. I got to get this urinal taken care of. Correct. You know? That's all, that's all they care about. Mm-hmm. And the same thing with warranty. You know, it's just some, you know, someone in India that's talking to that's sent a job or whatever. <laughs> from or, a warranty you know, company. Company, Right. From yeah. overseas, you right. know, and they mm-hmm. don't, I mean, they're not even, they're not even the same country. They, right. they, they couldn't care less. It's just a job. Right. So, okay. Yes. But again, but with service, mm-hmm. residential service. Yes. All right. They want their day back. Okay. Mm -hmm. They didn't wake up. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call the plumber. I know. right? Okay. But they called you Mm -hmm. because they want you to come give their day back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. Right people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very quickly there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a leg you got to have in place. Mm -hmm. Working for the right people. Right. Working for the right people. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Well, and again, I just want to reiterate because we did all that. We, we, We did all of those things. We we did new construction all, at the very beginning of our business and almost lost everything within the first, what, year? Yeah. Not even, six months? Because we thought, you know, we're getting all their houses and doing all these things, and then there were change orders they wouldn't sign, and we ha- ha- kept having to come back, and we just lost our butts. Right. right? Well, I, I, I can see the sound bubbles. Well, that was you because you couldn't do it, but I'm – I'm working for my, my, you know, I went to school with him since second grade and, and, kind of, and we got, yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to even take more advantage of you then. <laughs> That's right. He's, you know? He doesn't treat you, your, your company as a company at right. all. So, now, but yeah, we did, we did all those things. So we get it. If you're doing those things, we get it. But again, learn from our experience. You are going to lose with all those customers. Yes. Now, can you have a job? Yes. You can own your job that you can, way. You can own your job mm-hmm. where you, you just, you're constantly working. Until they don't pay you. Until, until the commercial account doesn't pay you. Until the builder um, who just is using money from the next job to pay right. you that just fell through and now he's not going to pay you, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right on. Mm-hmm. You know, so you can, so if you're in a situation right now where you are kind of, okay, well, I am getting paid. I'm doing what, whatever. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. We see it and talk all the time. You'll, you'll spend your whole life doing this. We're yes. talking about how do you get to a place mm-hmm. where you're successful mm-hmm. and if success is designed of creating wealth, mm-hmm both financially and time. Time, well, okay. yes. Is and then important. profitable, mm-hmm. okay. Businesses are supposed to make a profit. profit. Okay, and then self-sustaining, mm-hmm. something that you can turn on, turn over, okay. Correct. You can put people in place and mm-hmm. you can just, you can work. Like doing residential service, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't it doesn't depend on you making the special deal right. or having the relationships and those mm-hmm. kinds of things. Right. Okay. All right. So. All right, so that's leg one. That's leg one. Okay. Okay, you have that in place mm-hmm. and it's very simple. It's a simple thing to do, not so easy, because we, we start out thinking, you know, especially you know, if I get these houses or I have this commercial job, Walmart's going to give me all their work, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're going to give I'll give you all them. the work, and then they're not going to pay you. Exactly. <laughs> or you got to wait forty five days for your money uh, if and you're, you're lucky. And you're you know starting out again. We're talking about how do you go from nothing? And we've seen it. We, we just we just we just had a couple new recent clients here that just mm-hmm. 
you know, been with us less than two years mm-hmm. and now doing $5 million. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they had no all, money. On all they residential They had no money service. when they started out. Correct. And it was him in a truck. Yes. Right. Residential all, service. All residential service. Get 10, yeah, right. 10 plumbers and yep, right. other, others are selling their plumbing, plumbing business. So we know this works, right? right? Exactly. It'll okay. work, work for us and it'll work for you. Yes. Okay. All right. So leg right. two. Leg two. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the right processes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now that can sound scary. Um, because we, you know, what, what do we mean by the right processes or I don't even know the right processes, those kinds of things, but it, it's the idea of even just going from paper, you know, getting out of doing things, you know, paper, um, the process of not using paper anymore and using, you know, going to a, a field management tool, such as service Titan, Correct. you know, something like that mm-hmm. to, to the process of going from time and material to flat rate. Oh my gosh, please don't be time and material. Surely, time. surely nobody's on time and material so, right. anymore. I, I'm, I'm looking at, for those that, you know, watch us on, you know, with the video YouTube version, or, YouTube mm-hmm. or whatever here, I'm looking, you know, looking at the camera, shaking my head. No. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't time it. and material, is, you know, it. you're a dead man plumbing. Mm-hmm. I mean, finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. Your personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. To learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Applicant Pro. Um, you know, so that that's the process. Then we're talking about, you know, having the right process in place of like reordering stock. Yes. Okay. Stock, yeah. hiring, hiring, um, how, the, how phone calls come in, all the things, right? So right. you really just have to look at your whole business and say, what, what can I process out of this? How, how, how do I duplicate this going forward? If I'm not here, will fill in the blank staff member know how to do whatever needs to be done? Right on. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how you're looking at it. Because that's what will make your business self-sustaining and profitable. Correct. How do we look at it? If I'm not here, mm-hmm. how will this continue if yes. I get hit by a truck? Yes. Because oh. if, if your business totally relies on you being there all the time, then it's not self-sustaining. Now, right. again, in the beginning, it is more than likely it's, it's you, plumber, in the truck, right? The plumbing business owner starts his business, and he's the one in the truck in the beginning. But eventually, you want to get to the point where that is not the case, where the business can run on your own, and everybody knows how to run it without you being there and exactly. without calling you constantly either. Right. Mm-hmm. And the goal, there's, you know, so it's putting those, the right kind of processes in place, and then it's also keeping it simple. Mm-hmm. It's kissing it. Mm-hmm. Keeping it silly simple. The, the, the thing that happens is this thing called... Uh, uh, complexity creep. Complexity I creep. I read your mind. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and we see it because it's like, okay, I, I, need, I need this uh, um, you know, truck stocking system. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to get on this kind of all these d- dashboards with all these numbers. Mm-hmm. And all this stuff's talking at me. And I need all, the, all this kind of stuff. That just, um, that just gets your mind thinking in a different direction. Mm-hmm. And it's filling you full of a bunch of stuff that you just don't need. Correct. Okay. Now, right. on, on the other hand, if you're looking to grow this great big business, and that's what you want to do, you want to spend all your time in building a business and building processes um, and, and creating all these things because that's your hobby or that you really enjoy that or that, that's your, your life goal or that's your why, right. then fine, go ahead. Right. But if you're wanting a freedom lifestyle to where you can hopefully eventually sell your plumbing business one day for a nice chunk of change or – you know, go on vacation or, or, you know, again, sell it and then go do something else that you enjoy, whatever that is, whether, you know, it's starting another business or a real estate or flipping houses or right sitting on the beach for the rest of your life and dabbling in the stock market. Right. I don't know, whatever you want, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what it comes down to what you want to do. Mm-hmm. And that's what determine, you know, the processes in place. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, I, you know, I hit the kind of, that kind of stuff kind of hard mm-hmm. because there, there is that, that side of things of, where I mean, some guys' egos are in, I got to be at the, I got to be at the office, and I'm juggling all these different balls, and it mm-hmm. makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. Okay, it doesn't, but it it owns you. You can't leave that. Mm-hmm. You, you can't. It owns you. But some guys like that. It's like the warm blanket. It's like I know where I'm getting hit and how mm-hmm. I'm getting hit, and it feels good. Mm-hmm. You know, where we're talking about what we call the freedom lifestyle. Freedom lifestyle, right? Okay, mm-hmm. where where you build this asset that's making you three, five, seven million dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's easy to it's easy to run. And you can be running it from just, you know, example we have of you know, one of our clients that has mm-hmm. a company in, you know, in Alaska and he lives in Florida. Right. And, that's and just, he's that's making big money. Right. And that's making big re- bank. Correct. 
Right. Or you can right. rent it from if you want to live on a boat or if you want to live, live in an RV or whatever, right? It, exactly. That's yeah. that's what we're talking about. But you got to know the reason why you're doing it. And I have a feeling you're going to be bringing that up. Well, hold on that thought. Okay, okay boy. <laughs> You're jumping Jump in the, the shark. shark. <laughs> right. Before we get that, and that, yes. that's, that is the leg that must mm-hmm. be in place. Okay. okay. If you wish to be successful. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the leg you got in place. But before we have that, mm-hmm. I have something for you for joining us here. It's my million dollar plumber blueprint. Mm-hmm. And in it, I lay out the exact specs to build a successful self-sustaining. There's that word again, and very profitable plumbing business. Hey, you wouldn't plumb a plumb a house without a blueprint. So why are you trying to plumb your business, build your plumbing business without a blueprint? It's All insane. Right. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it, okay? All right? Grab grab my blueprint and it's free. It is. Okay? And it's let me let me say this as well. It's specific for plumbing businesses. Mm-hmm. The plumbing business is different. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's different than HVAC. Mm-hmm. Customers and employees are different. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's different than installing garage doors. Mm-hmm. Customers and employees are different. Mm-hmm. It's different than an electrical company. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is specific. This blueprint is specific to this kind of house mm-hmm. building a plumbing. Okay. A plumbing mansion. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's free. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had to throw that in there. I saw okay. That. All right. Mm-hmm. So, okay. It's, and it's free. Mm-hmm. Simply type. Well, you don't type free in the comments. Go to the no. million dollar plumber. Yes. Com forward slash free. You got it. Okay. Correct. All right. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. so what do we have so far? I have two legs. Two legs, we're missing one. Oh, well, we're going to topple over here. Okay, know. we got to get the third leg. That's right. All right, so okay. what is the so, third leg? So we had the right people, mm-hmm. the right processes, mm-hmm. and finally, and this is, I left, you know, I normally don't do things in line or whatever, you know, just, we can be wherever, but this one I left, this is the important thing. So okay. I left it for last year. Okay. All right, it is the foundation, mm-hmm. the right purpose. Mm-hmm. You've got to have the right purpose. And I'm not talking because we love plumbing. <laughs> okay. Plumbing is not the right purpose. I, I love plumbing. I say if you really truly love plumbing, in fact, yes. well, let me finish that. Okay. Let me finish that sentence. Mm-hmm. If you truly love plumbing, okay, you know, go, don't do the business thing. Go be a great plumber for another plumbing company. Mm-hmm. Okay. And be a great plumber for that plumbing company and really, you know, get into plumbing. Mm-hmm. The guys that come to me and they kind of, at first they sheepishly say, I hate plumbing. <laughs> I hate it. You're going to win. You're going to be win. so freaking successful, <laughs> okay, because it ain't about the plumbing, mm. okay? Their why is not the plumbing. Mm. And I'm telling you, when as you're starting from nothing, all that energy it takes to go from nothing, it is simple. You can do it with the right people, mm-hmm. the right processes, mm-hmm. okay? But when, it's with, when you're starting out and you're going to get hit and you're trying to learn these new things and you're still in the truck doing the work, mm-hmm. Okay, and possibly answering the phones. phones and you're trying to put all this together and going, okay, it's not the love of plumbing. You got to have the right why. You got to know why you're doing this mm-hmm. so that when you do get hit and knocked to the canvas and you're down and it, it feels so good just to lay down because you're tired of getting hit, mm-hmm. which equates to quitting. I feel, I'll just quit. I'll right. go back and get a job. Give up. Okay. Because it's not the love of plumbing that's going to get you back up. Mm-hmm. It's that. I want to, I want to drive the America in a, you know, diesel pusher RV, RV with mm-hmm. my family and homeschool yeah. my kids, kids and, and go right. to, um, Yellowstone and go to the Grand Canyon and go to all the places, whatever, or on yeah. the beach, whatever, Be, being very specific about why or what right. your why is. Right. I want a ranch, mm-hmm. you know, and what that ranch looks like and, and I can ho- have hunting trips and. You know, do that kind of thing and be a hunting guide, you know, whatever. I've heard guys talk about that. Mm-hmm. Or it could be, I just want to, I want to travel. We, we want to just, I, I just want to be able to, you know, go see to the world. see the world every quarter. You know, I'm going on a, you know, we're traveling, mm-hmm. you know, and doing stuff. Could be something where you want to support a charity or your right. church in some way. Um, you know, missionaries, they, they all need support, right? Right. Um, they're not living high on the hog missionaries, and they're always looking for money. So whatever your heart is towards a certain organization or a charity, maybe maybe that's your why. You just want to live a simple life, but you want to make sure that you're supporting this this organization. Well, we, we, we know that the companies that have that, their why is that they support, they, they're fighting human trafficking. Mm-hmm. And so their whole thing of being in business isn't for, you know, plumbing. Right. It's I'm making money, and that profit, why, why, I don't have no problem charging what I'm charging, the profit, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting human trafficking. Right. And that's my why. That's it my is so why. strong that God right. has laid something on your heart so strong that you want to support something like that. It, it could right. be that. It could be that you want to go on a missions trip with your family every quarter. What It doesn't matter what your why is. It could be you just want to fill up 
a great big swimming pool in your backyard with cash and swim in it. If that's your why, if, if that's, that's right, and you so and you can envision that, then that's your why, and that's fine. Again, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just that you have to have one. It has to be very clear. It has to be very specific. Gotcha. It has to not be um, that it's something general or um, um, what's another word? To just air, well, air quotes. We always kind of say air quotes. Right. Um, it has to be very, very you know, specific. I want to be successful. I want to be successful. You know, I, I want a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You know, I want a nice car. Yeah, I want my, my kids to be happy and have a good life. Okay, of course, of course, right. of course. But what does that mean? What does that look like? Right. Um, is it going for your kids to go to a certain school, um, homeschool or a private school or a Christian school? Is it, you know, they're getting closer to college age. You want them to go to a certain college. Maybe not college. You want to be able to, um, if they get married soon out of high school and you want to help them buy their very first house, whatever it is, again, you have to know what your why is. Why do you have this plumbing business? And I guarantee on to you is not because you love plumbing. Right on. You know, and we can see it, you know, after all these years and even, you know, the clients that we work with and even we see within the Success Academy itself and, and you know, and hear the stories and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Those who are attached to their why, mm-hmm. know what their why is, become not only successful, you know, you know and get by or whatever, but they thrive. Yes. I mean, they achieve. Mm-hmm. And they achieve it more quickly. Right. Because once they're right. like you, the analogy you give, they're on the mat and they're, they're face down on the mat. Which you're going to be. Which you're going to be multiple times a day sometimes. You you can then pull from your memory um, what your why is or, or that you have it so so much in front of you that, okay, yes, I'm here. I'm on the ground and I've just got the crap beat out of me by a customer or, you know, some finance thing happened or whatever it might be. Um, you've got that in the forefront of your mind. Okay, I'm getting back up because... I want my kids to go to this school or because I want to support this organization or because I want to float in my pool with all kinds of cash, right. you know, lighting them on fire and smoking a cigar. Right. Whatever, whatever it is. Whatever that, it has to be a powerful emotion, mm-hmm. all right, that, that is just so deep inside. And that's why I can't stress it enough to, to the guys because I hear it all the time. You know, I want to provide, which, you know, I want to provide the best service and I'm not going to be like this other company. Serve my to, community. Serve my community and all that. And, Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay. okay. But that's not powerful enough to get you going. It is okay? not. Okay. Guys, it is not. I don't, I don't care yeah. what you say. It's not enough for you to say, I just, to get up out of the bed, out of bed, or to get up, you know, when you had a lot of hits, right? If, to say, gosh, I just want to go out and serve um, Mrs. Jones today. Um, that, that's my why, to give her the, be best, the best plumber. The best plumber in my town and not rip people off. That's, You're going to fail. You, you're just going to fail. We see it time and time and yes. time and time and time and time again. Right. Now, of right. course you're going to do that. Of course, of course. if you have a plumbing right. business, of course you want to provide the best possible service for all of your customers. I like the analogy, sweetheart, that you, yes. you said before, you use, you know, like these guys, you know, dunking, you know, and they, they dunk, they dunk them, you know, you're seven <laughs> foot tall. Seven foot two. And you dunk the, I, 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 I dunk I, the basketball. I expect you to dunk the basketball. <laughs> and so, but after they dunk, they're like celebrating right. and woohoo. Look at me. Right. Stop it. You don't even have to jump. So that we, ain't no thing. Right. So we expect you. You're a master licensed plumber. Correct. And, and you're, you know, we expect you to be the best, to work yes. to be the best of and course. to serve. We expect you to do that. Yes. The no difference brainer. is, is like a Michael Jordan, when you're, you're aging and you're learning different things um, and you can pull it during clutch moments. You can get up off the court mm-hmm. during clutch moments. Because he knew his why. Because he knew why he was doing it. And it wasn't because... It was just the basketball. It wasn't winning the game. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, I like my movies, mm-hmm. you know, my sport, you know, in the, the Rocky analogy. Yes. <laughs> I may have seen this that. before. Oh, you've done it a few okay. times. <laughs> but it's that the, in the first Rocky movie mm-hmm. where it's the night before the big fight and, you know, he goes to the arena and they're playing the dramatic music and he first he realizes the enormity of what he's doing, mm-hmm. fighting a champ that's out of his league mm-hmm. with not, you know, coming from nowhere and it's like, I can't, I, I don't know if I can do this. But when he went back, you know, and he climbs into his, you know, his dumpy, dumpy place and mm-hmm. with Adrian there in bed or whatever, and he says, I, I can't beat him. I can't beat him. But if I can be standing when that final bell rings, I'll know for the first time in my life that I'm not just another bum from the neighborhood. <laughs> that is what got him off the ground, right. off the mat. Yes. When you saw him being beaten, his nose is broken, and he's taking the punches and he's swinging Cut with, me the, with, the, with the champ, <laughs> you know, whatever. That, not not the title, nope. not the love of boxing, mm-hmm. 
Not whatever not money he what may have gotten. gotten right, mm-hmm. what it was going. In. The the powerful thing inside was I won't. I will know that I'm not just another bum from the neighborhood if I can just be standing when that final bell rings. Yes, that's what your why mm-hmm. has to it be. Has, it has to be that strong, or you will not be standing when the final <laughs> bell rings. It does have to be that strong, and you have you have to see it in front of you. So it can't be something general again. Right. It, just, it just can't be. Right. So and now, if you guys haven't seen Rocky, I know Rocky's kind of an old movie. And yeah. we, met someone, oh, that we met someone the other day that had not yeah. seen Rocky. We're like, yeah. we don't even understand. Right. Right. <laughs> How do you not? Um, but if you haven't seen it, certainly go see it. If you it's been a while, go see it again and kind of put it on the the cap of of this scenario or this. Um, example that that we're giving look at it kind of in a different in a different way right Mm -hmm. okay there we go okay all right so the three-legged stool there we go those are the the three pillars or the three legs that that must be in place Mm -hmm. in the correct way in the right way Mm -hmm. for you in order to be successful Mm -hmm. and very profitable which we want Mm -hmm. but also self-sustaining okay uh, as in the million dollar plumber way. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That that's the win. Yes. All right. All right. So, so just a reminder to everybody, we are out on all the social media channels. So please go out and follow us. Give us a like mm-hmm. um, on the podcast, whatever podcast player you're listening to. Um, give us a review. We've been that always helps. You guys know that helps with um, the algorithm and all that. So we really appreciate giving us a review and a like um, and a follow. So yes. and yeah, you have maybe. something to offer? Oh, yeah. Well, as well? P- well, please do that. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you if you are just starting your, your plumbing business or you've been at it for a while and just feel like you're you know you're you're living week to week, paycheck to paycheck, and you know it's kind of what we're talking about is kind of making sense to you. Mm-hmm. We like to help you. Mm-hmm. Okay, we like to help you get pointed in the right direction. You can schedule a free strategy call with us, mm-hmm. and we'll do just that. It's very very relaxing. We'll have a conversation. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll come out of it knowing where, you know. Where, uh, where your issue is, and normally it's issues, <laughs> where your issues <laughs> lie, okay? And you'll have a plan to proceed forward, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call, mm-hmm. as in call me, mm-hmm. okay? C-A-L-L. And uh, also it's going to be here somewhere in the show notes, so you can click yes, the link in there. as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. So All right. There we go. Okay, All right. Show. All right. Yeah, I love this, okay? Yeah. Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Come like a champion. Bye, everybody.